when I was 17 years old, I was a senior in high school. I attended a Halloween party at the University of Kentucky in Lexington. Um, I thought I was really cool being a high school senior at a college party. Um, we had plans to stay at my friend's sister's house who was a student down there. And when we got back to the house, um, there was a, a man that had come back with us and had, had agreed to get a ride from wherever we were going as to not inconvenience us. So when we got back there, um, everyone kind of went to bed behind closed doors. And um, that night, the same man uh, drugged and he raped me. And I don't, I didn't have any memory of it until several years later. Um, but I do remember waking up in the middle, in the very early morning, and the only thing that I remember is that I had to crawl to the bathroom, that I couldn't walk, that my legs were, were not um, of use to me, which is um, definitely something that you notice. <laughs> that's, that's a little out of the ordinary. Um, but I didn't remember it, so I just pretended it didn't happen, nothing happened, and I went on with my life. Um, a few weeks later, um, I, I found out I was pregnant, and... <laughs> Um, I just, I wanted it, I, I wanted it over, I wanted it, it wasn't my fault, and I didn't deserve to, you know, have all this struggle and, and turmoil in my life um, because of someone else's choice. So I scheduled um, an appointment to murder my own child, um, and thank goodness I didn't go. I, uh, my alarm didn't go off, and I didn't go, and I never looked back. Um, my, my mom stuck me in counseling from the very start, right when I told her, and uh, they introduced me to the idea of an open adoption. And I had no idea what that was, um, but after talking to a lot of people and learning about what it really is, it just seemed like a really great fit for me. Um, I wanted my son to have, to have more than I could give him at the age of 17. So I went with um, an open adoption, uh, and I, I picked a local family. They, they live very close to where my mom lives. Um, and he was born on July 9th, so he just turned six years old, and he is just the love of my life. You know, he is, he's my everything. You know, he's my reason for, for living. He's my reason for pushing myself, you know. Like, I have, I have done more things. I have gone farther in my life because of him, because of the healing that he has given me. Um, it's something really, really magical when, you know, you can take this giant, t terrible situation, you know, like the worst thing that probably will ever happen to me, um, and somehow turn it around to be a blessing. It's, and it, and it sounds almost morbid, but you know, my son is that important to me and that he's, he's that great. Society tells me, tells the world that you can't bring a rape baby into it, you know, that, that there's something wrong with these children and that, that they don't deserve to be alive. They don't deserve life. Um, you know, society would have robbed me. Had I listened, you know, had I gone with the flow, in a vulnerable situation, had I done what society told me to do, I would have been robbed of so much joy and, and, and so much healing. Um, but you know, that would have been nothing compared to what my son would have been robbed of. And, and that's his life, you know, his, his, his chance to love and, and laugh and, and be whoever he wants to be.